let's get started and look at the difference between present simple and present continuous. Let's begin with formulation. How do we formulate each one of these tenses? Present simple. Simple. I play tennis. You play tennis. He, she plays tennis. That's right. Remember that little s you have to add to the verb with he, she, and it. We play tennis. You play. And they play. So, simple enough. Let's look at present continuous. You probably remember that you need the verb to be to conjugate this verb. So, I am playing tennis. You are playing tennis. He or she is playing tennis. We are playing tennis. You are playing. And finally, they are playing. That's right. Just conjugate the verb to be and add ing to the main verb. And that will give you the present continuous. Right, now the main part, usage. When do we use present simple and when do we use present continuous? So, present simple is used to indicate facts and habits, things that are always true, general facts. For example, I live in England. And you? Where do you live? I like ice cream. And you? What do you like? It rains a lot here. And where you are? Does it rain a lot? Let's look at some habits. I usually shop on Saturdays. How about you? When do you usually shop? He drives fast. How about you? What are your driving habits? Do you drive fast? She always drinks coffee in the morning. And you? What do you drink in the morning? So, present simple for facts and habits. Things that are always true. Let's look at present continuous now. We use present continuous for action in progress now. Temporary situations, things that are happening now and will stop at some point. Let's look at the examples. I'm talking to you. How about you? What are you doing now? I hope that you are listening to me very carefully. What about the weather? Oh dear, it's raining here. And where you are? Is it raining? Is the sun shining? So, just to sum up, use the present simple for facts and habits, things that happen regularly, that are general facts, and use present continuous for things that are in progress now, temporary actions. Right then, let's move on and look at some common mistakes. Let's start with this sentence. Someone says, I'm living in Spain. And what they want to say is that this is their permanent place of residence. So, is this sentence correct? No. To show that it's a fact, that it's their permanent place of residence, they should use the present simple. I live in Spain. I'm living in Spain means it's just for a few weeks or a few months. I'll be moving somewhere else soon. Let's look at another example. I'm coming from Japan. This person wants to say that they are from Japan. They are Japanese. They're giving you their nationality. So, it's a fact. Therefore, again, it should be present simple. I come from Japan. 
saying, I'm coming from Japan means I've just been there. You've been on a trip and you're coming back now. Right, let's look at one last example where someone might use the present continuous instead of the present simple by mistake. Look at this sentence. Someone says, our company is producing glass. This means that their company is producing glass just for the moment, temporarily. Maybe they are the producer of another kind of product. So again, here we need the present simple to indicate that this is a fact. This is what the company produces all the time. So here we go. The correct sentence is, our company produces glass. Right, let's now look at some examples where you might use the present simple, but in fact, you should be using the present continuous. Here's the first one. The economy grows again this year. Well, if it's this year, it means it's happening at the moment. It's temporary. Doesn't happen every year. So what should it be? That's right, the present continuous. The economy is growing again this year. Let's look at another example. They build a house next to mine. Do they, really? Every month? Every year? Regularly? It doesn't make sense. You're referring to something that's just happening now, and it will end sooner or later. So, once again, we need the present continuous. They are building a house next to mine. And one final example to clarify this difference for you. Someone says, look, it snows. They're asking you to look out the window and see what's happening now, at this moment. Therefore, once again, it should be present continuous. Look, it's snowing. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and have found it helpful. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.